Game changer for the EV market coming soon? Have you heard about the solid state battery technology? Electric cars are now using lithium ion batteries. NEO has some fantastic news. Their cars will soon be delivered with another type of battery. Solid state batteries are the new kid on the battery block. The batteries have drawn a lot of interest from all corners of the energy industry. Having no flammable liquid electrolyte, hence solid state, they skip many of the safety issues that traditional lithium ion batteries have without sacrificing power. This sounds nice, doesn't it? One of the arguments for not buying an electric car is that charging takes a long time and the driving range is just about 2 to 300 miles. With a petrol car, you tank in minutes and drive for 4 to 500 miles before tanking again. What if you can charge your electric car in less than 15 minutes and you can drive 6 to 700 miles before charging again? In that case, many more would consider buying an electric car instead of a petrol car. It's also the price of gas and electricity to consider. Typically, it's half the price charging with electricity than tanking with gasoline. This is impossible right now because every electric car uses lithium-ion battery. But what if they could be replaced with solid-state batteries? Why haven't all manufacturers began using solid-state batteries? There are two issues, conductivity and instability, where the materials join. The first is easy to explain. Volatile liquid electrolytes allow electrons to move freely, which is more challenging within a solid material with less particle mobility. The second issue is much more difficult for me to explain, so I borrowed an explanation that I found on the internet. We can explain the second issue through an analogy. Imagine you're the ice cream bar maker at an ice cream bar factory. All day, you dip plain vanilla ice cream bars into a vat of lovely liquid chocolate. Then, someone says they're changing your job. And from now on, you'll be tasked with covering the ice cream with pre-made solid shingles of chocolate. It's clear that this approach is more difficult than dipping. It's hard to achieve full coverage of the ice cream bars using pre-made chocolate pieces in this way. You run the risk of trapping a lot of air in between the chocolate layer and the ice cream. In a delicious treat, that's not necessarily a huge problem. But in a battery, it can be. Trapped gases can affect what happens to all the materials they touch. WeLion is a developer of solid-state batteries intended to revolutionize the next generation of battery cell development if we shall believe their home site. The company focuses on R&D and production of hybrid solid-liquid electrolyte lithium-ion batteries and all solid-state lithium batteries. WeLion is NEO's supplier of solid-state batteries. Somehow, WeLine has managed to solve the two problems with solid-state batteries before anyone else in the car industry. Honda and Nissan are spending huge money in research and development. The two companies say they have plans to mass-produce batteries by 2028. Volkswagen has invested in the startup company QuantumScape, and Ford has invested in solid-state battery startup company called Solid Power. The Japanese giant Toyota has stated that they will start producing solid-state batteries in 2030. One Chinese company, CAC Acon, has tried offering electric cars with over 1,000 kilometers of range, but it's not always as easy as it sounds. The car model Aon LX Plus with a 144.4 kilowatt-hour battery pack that gives the car a claimed range of over 1,000 kilometers. Unfortunately, the car's performance is less than impressive with acceleration times twice as long as those of models with standard battery packs. The other downside is the price. The solid-state battery makes the car twice as expensive as the model with lithium-ion batteries.
This is great news for Neo, and they have announced the following. Neo will get the first batch of the 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery packs from its supplier WeLion. The delivery of the initial batch is scheduled for September, with the mass production to begin in the fourth quarter of this year. Neo ET7 will be the first vehicle to receive the 150 kilowatt hour battery packs, and this will result in a range of over 1,000 kilometers, according to Neo. Neo will make the batteries available to all customers, allowing them to change the existing battery packs at one of the company's battery swap stations. The big question is, will this make Neo cars more expensive? William Lee, CEO of Neo, claims that the cost of buying the battery packs from WeLion is just slightly more expensive than lithium-ion batteries. Prices for the Neo ET7 with a solid-state battery hasn't been revealed yet. This could be huge. Neo E7 with a range of 1,000 kilometers and costing less than Tesla models. No question what car buyers will prefer. This could really be a catalyst for Neo. Tesla has developed the old lithium-ion battery technology and made a product that's called 4680. The 4680 battery is already in production for Model Ys built at Tesla's Texas factory, but is yet to spread to mass production at the company's other facilities in Shanghai, China, Vermont, California, and Berlin, Germany. The 4680 battery is expected to provide more range and power at a lower cost. Rumors say that the Model Y will get a range of 500 miles with the new battery. Let's round up and conclude. It will be interesting to follow the development of car batteries. Will NEO really deliver a NEO ET7 with this new battery to almost the same price as with the old batteries? I am certain that the first manufacturer to deliver cars with ranges up to 5 to 600 miles will be most successful. As a NEO share owner, I hope it will be NEO. That was all for now. Do check out our video about NEO business strategy where they deliver cars without batteries.